What up? What is going on, everybody? It's your boy Jess, and welcome to the divisional round of L L Lizard Squad. And uh, we're gonna go on ahead and see if we can continue our perfect season. We went ten and zero in our regular season, which allowed us to get a first round bye, which uh, I haven't had the privilege of getting too often. You know, when your first Madden string, getting uh, ten wins in a row can be tough. Now, of course, you don't face. 10 straight opponents in all Madden first string, but you typically go up against some of the better teams. So, uh, definitely lucky enough to go 10 and 0. So, uh, you know, three wins away, man, from getting a Super Bowl, which would be like my 10th or something like that. So, uh, start the game off running the ball as oh, that pancake stuff. Running the ball as always, man, trying to have success. You know, if you can run the ball efficiently, it's going to be a long day for your opponent. Uh, Barry Sanders got destroyed right there. Thankfully, he didn't fumble. Right here, we sneak in Matt Forte, who breaks the tackle and earns us an extra yard. We go back to Forte, try to go up the middle, and we got absolutely nothing. Third and three, sends a nice blitz and gets to us. Fourth and 11, thankfully, Sterling Sharp somehow holds on to that pass. Were you expecting him to? Because I definitely was not. So second and five right here, again, still running the ball, chewing up a lot of time as well. Which can be a good thing, but then it can be a bad thing because he gets the ball at halftime. So if he does the same thing to me that I did to him, he could hit us with that double dip. But we end up scoring going up 7-0. to zero, And that right there is always a good thing, being able to score on your first offensive possession. So now here we go on defense where I struggle the most, right? On offense, I usually have an idea of what it is I like to do, how I like to get things done. Defense, no, I, I just hope for the best. I just pray. Pick a play and pray. <laughs> Right here, hits us with a beautiful run right here. Thankfully, Sherman has enough speed to go all the way across field and uh, shut him down from scoring a touchdown. But the very next play, he gets another huge run, spins, jukes the hell out of me, and then he ends up scoring while jumping up in the air, wiggling his butt cheeks right in front of me, letting me know that he scored on me. So now, 7-7 seven, seven game. So um, I definitely liked what we had going the first drive, but right there... Deion Sanders fumbles again at kick return. That's got to be like his third or fourth one. That happens way too often, more often than it should. Man, and he gets ball at halftime. It's not looking good. It's not looking good. Best case scenario, we're going to have time tied. He scores here, and then I'm going to try and score. You know, no, no, best case scenario, a tie game. I'm, I go into halftime with the lead. Excuse me. <laughs> I go into halftime with the lead. Um, best case scenario, you know, but um, it's only up four. You know, so uh, right here, you know, we got to try and make this last possession right here. You know, definitely cannot allow him to, uh, you know, stop us. Or, you know, if we score, don't let it be too soon. We have to make this last possession, even if we tie it. Whatever I got to do to make sure he does not touch this ball again. Third and 10 right here. We end up going to the deep route and we throw an interception down 10-7. He has ball and he gets ball at halftime. It is not looking good whatsoever he's running the ball pretty effectively against us and i'm not gonna lie i'm definitely nervous at this point thankfully we get two good run stuffs third and 13 goes over towards the left side we swat it down which held him to another field goal so not the worst thing in the world still a little tough we still need to be able to score at least a field goal here to get on the board but um again he does get ball at halftime man so we gotta stay away from these turnovers man i gotta put the ball in the end zone this drive so right here we go deep to cc and i throw another interception and now it's like games game's over <laughs> game's over man perfect season ends uh week one of the, the play well week two since we skipped the wild card and i'm just thinking to myself you you, you gotta be kidding me man We're, you know we've held him to all these field goals even if he gets another one he's up two possessions and then he gets ball at halftime man and he does indeed kick another field goal and like I said, we're down two scores, and he gets ball at halftime. So, uh, again, same situation we was in before. I need to score. I'm struggling out here, man. I can't do nothing right. You know, I'm throwing to wide open guys. Problem is, they're his teammates or his team right there. Nice outside shoulder throw to Sterling Sharp. Finally get ourselves the first down, get a little momentum going. Second and 12 after that disaster of a run. Right here, we reroute Forte, and we get ourselves a decent pass. Third and five right here. We go uh, to the backfield again. He's leaving them open, and I would gladly take it at this point. 24 seconds remaining. We end up going to a wide open Chris Carter, and he goes out of bounds, which helps us since we have no timeouts. Right here, we go underneath the Carter, and again, we have no timeouts. Only four seconds remaining. We go for it, and it's swatted down. So, got to kick a field goal, make it a one-possession game at this point, and uh, we need to stop. You know, we need to stop. I cannot let him kick a field goal here. I need to get us the ball back, but he scored. Every time he touched the ball, even though three out of his four possessions started in excellent territory, he, that one time where, you know, he didn't uh, start after a turnover, he moved the ball downfield with ease. 
Third and six, he goes to the flat route right there, and he picks up the first down. And I'm thinking to myself, you, you got to be kidding me, man. He's just moving the ball at will. Right here, uh, he goes to a screen. Thankfully, we stopped that. Big third down right here. Third and 11. He goes to the right, left side of me, and we drop an interception. And I'm thinking to myself, that's it. We're going to lose. He's going to pick up the first down. Whoo! Overthrown. BS back-to-back. -back. I should have had an interception. Dropped it. He should have had a first down overthrown and that right there was a huge key factor in this game since we score and we take the lead i know he was upset after that overthrown pass because i was like wow he got robbed but then again we got robbed that interception man so um you know it happened to me and then it happened to him thankfully it uh who it ended with was him not the bs happening to me <coughs> excuse me so third and 13 right here send a little four man b gap fourth and 13 he decides to go for a play action and i knew it i was like you know i'm, I'm gonna send pressure i'm gonna try to give him no time to make a quick decision if it's play action he's done because he was on the center and he called the play action and uh we were down what like uh 16 to 7 and he had ball or something like I i'm not sure but it wasn't looking good it was not looking good whatsoever but now we are up a full touchdown plus two point conversion so he cannot take the lead no matter what best thing he can do is tie it and even if he does that we should have last possession if he's somehow able to do that so we're definitely feeling confident at this point <coughs> excuse me second and eight right here size to roll out the pocket he's looking he's looking he's looking he goes over towards the right side and i just could not get there fast enough first and ten he hits us with the counter and we stopped that you know we did a pretty good job of stopping the run it's him passing the ball on us that we're having difficulty being able to stop uh real quick throw towards the right side and again he's just putting in work against us man another throw over there towards the flats beautiful spin move jukes the hell out of me and right here of course he's playing it smart can't blame him he's trying to go on ahead and make sure that uh, he wastes as much time as possible so i'm calling timeouts Be wow, wow. y'all see that y'all see that he goes for two right here, goes towards the left, and wow, one hand snag. So I have a minute and 15 seconds not to do something idiotic and get in at least field goal range. And do I feel confident being able to do so? Absolutely. i much rather, uh, you know, have my offense on the field than have my defense. Some people are really good at defense and would have no problem being in this position and shut somebody down. Not me. <laughs> I'd much rather be on offense because I don't trust my defense whatsoever. So right here, I'm trying to sneak in a run for a big game, thinking maybe he's going to come on some heavy pass coverage. No, not happening. Third and two right here. We go really quickly to the inside. Somehow, Storm the Sharp holds on to that. And then right here, we run the ball. We are definitely in field goal range, and we kick the game-winning field goal. Somehow, some way, Sterling Sharp comes up with an um, just an amazing catch. <sighs> wow. You want to talk about an amazing catch. That's the end of the video, guys. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed Sterling Shark coming through with the catch of the game. It's your boy, Jess. We're going to go on ahead and sign out. Look how close this was. You want to talk about threading the needle?